Shalom, shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, by Hashem Rekakarash, I will am yam. I want to say the water to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Um, double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone for teaching me sound doctrine. Strong shalom to you men and women out there doing this work diligently and chiefly keeping the faith, making your calling and your election sure. It's your brother Kazak Rakar coming back at you with another video. Through the spirit, hopefully this is edifying, right? Um, we're going to get right into it. Joel chapter 2 and verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. What made me um, actually go to this verse is the spirit, first off and foremost. But secondly... Is because these Christians and pretty much the entire earth, you know, outside the elect, doesn't know that the Lord, Yahweh, is the power of Israel and, and he's only the power of Israel alone. The Lord tell us in so many different verses that he's only the God of Israel, that he's only the power of Israel. He tells you in so many verses that he have not dealt so with these nations, man. And those are the verses that I'm going to pull out, you know, straight milk scriptures. But to some, it's meat, man. They're, they still stuck on a point. They still stuck on that Christianity, that salvation's Christianity. I mean, that salvation's like it, that plantation Christianity. And they don't read, man. The scripture says, blessed is he or blessed is she that readeth. Right? You know? The Lord tells you clearly that he's only the God of Israel, that he's only our God, right? He's only our God. No one else is, right? So we're going to get those precepts to prove it, okay? Let's get um another precept real quick. But the point here is the Lord said he's in the midst of Israel. He's not in them houses made with hands, according to Acts chapter 7 and verse 48. He's not in them temples made with hands. He's within Israel, Right, he's the Lord, our God, and he's the Lord, our God, our power, and none else. And we shall never be ashamed. Let's get Amos real quick. Amos chapter 3 and verse 2. It says, I could start at verse um, 1. Amos 3 and 1, it says, Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I have brought up from the land of Egypt. Saying, right? He brought us from the land of bondage. The word Egypt means bondage, according to Exodus chapter uh, 20 and verse 2, right? But Amos chapter 3 and verse 2, it says, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. You see? So the Lord deals with Israel and Israel alone. That's why the, the rod of correction is upon us and not our enemies. That's why we're going through the curses to this day over in Deuteronomy chapter 28, and not our enemies, man. If you fit those curses written in Deuteronomy chapter 28, then you are God's chosen people, and it's time for you to wake up and realize who you are, man. Let's get Psalms 147 verse 19. Psalms chapter 147 and verse 19, it says, He showeth his word unto Jacob. See, Jacob is the progenitor the father of the 12 tribes of Israel, right? So Psalm chapter 147 verse 19 says, he showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. See, and who is the word? The word was made flesh. John 1 and 14, the word is Yahweh, right? He showed the spirit. He showed his word. He showed the angel. He showed, um, <coughs> so like, yeah. he showed his word unto Jacob. You understand? Jacob actually wrestled with the angel, you know, and I believe, you know, through the spirit, I know I speak like a man, but I believe that angel that Job was wrestling with was not Job, Salakia, that Jacob was wrestling with was Yahweh. Just from this verse here too, as well, it resonates with me, right? It says, Psalms 147 verse 19, he showeth his word unto Jacob. See, Jacob actually wrestled the angel and his thigh was out of place and everything, and he refused to let the angel go. The angel was Yahweh, man. 
You know, Psalms 147 verse 19, once again, he showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Verse 20, he have not dealt so with any nation and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. See, so these, these nations don't know, man. These nations don't know what's up. The Lord is only dealing with Israel. He don't give a damn about these other nations, man. The judgments that he have, he... He don't give a damn about them eating pork. He don't give a damn about them breaking the laws, man. Right? He gave he he cared about us breaking the laws. That's why we're in punishment. That's why we're going through these things, man. You know? You gotta pay attention and know that our power, our God, he's only our God. No one else's. Okay? Let's get Ecclesiastes. Six. Verse 54. Wait, no, it's lucky. Um, what am I looking for? Uh, let me see here. It's lucky. Like I'm looking for a precept real quick. <clears throat> the edges. This is what I'm looking for. Second edge is six and fifty four. Call Halayim. I've Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shah. Second edge chapter six and verse fifty four says, And after these, Adam also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. See, everyone come out of Adam. But watch this. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. See, the Lord got a chosen people. He has a cho he, he chose a favorite cattle, which is the sheep. He chose a favorite plot of land, which is Jerusalem. He even have a favorite bird, which is the dove. See, the Lord have picked favorites on this earth, but our, but the wickedness of this place uh, refused to let you see it, Right? They want to say everything is equal and this and that. No, the Lord chose things out of this earth that he loved. He he chose a favorite flower, which is the lily, right? So he chose a people, you understand? And uh, the people is Israel. Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. See, the world was made for the chosen people. See, verse 56, it says, As for the other people, which also come of Adam, Thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. See, they are spit in the eyes of the Lord. They are nothing. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. See, so the Lord taken took the whole abundance of them and he categorized them as a drop that falleth from a vessel. The Lord don't give a damn about these other nations, man. Right? That's why they shall be judged. Their rightful place is servants. Their rightful place is as servants, man. Not rulers, you understand, and only only because the Lord is long suffering and He want to make His power known in the earth. That's why He's um, allowing this wickedness to uh, prolong, man. Any second, the Lord want to show His power in this earth by bringing down the nation who says that they are the most uh, that they are the most powerful, right? The Lord only deals with us. He don't deals with these other nations, man. He don't deal with these other people. You know, he's in the midst of Israel. He's the Lord, our God, and none else. And we shall never be ashamed. You understand? So these are just a couple of precepts, you know what I'm saying, that you can uh, go to and um, keep your sword fresh. You know, letting you know that the Lord only deals with Israel. Right? He only gave the covenant, the laws, the statutes, and the commandments unto Israel. Let's get one more precept real quick. It's not going to be no long lesson. Romans chapter 9. We can start at verse 1. It says, I say the truth in Hamashiach, I like not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit. Now, people call call it the Holy Ghost and they call on the name of Christ. But I don't do that. Romans chapter 9, and verse 2, it says that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Verse 3, for I could wish that myself were accursed for Hamashiach, for my brethren and my kinsmen according to the flesh. See, the word flesh means lineage. You know, so he wish he can go through uh, the uh, the trials and tribulations and the uh, uh, curses and uh, and the uh, shit that um, Hamashiach and his brethren went through, man. He this is 
this is um Paul letting us know what that he's willing to put his he he wished he could have put his li- his life on a line just like Yahweh did for his people. <coughs> the scripture says there's no greater love than for uh, a man to lay down his life for his friend. Romans nine and four says, "Who are Israelites?" See, so Paul is saying that he wished he was a curse for his kinsmen, for his brethren, for Hamashiach's sake, according to the flesh. Who are Israelites? See, who are Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption? So the adoption is only for the Israelites. And the glory, the glory of the kingdom of heaven is only for the Israelites. And the covenant, the first covenant and the covenant to come is for the Israelites. Right? And the giving of the law. Who was the law given to? The Israelites. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. See, what is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law. So if you have the law given to you that means that you are the only ones that can sin these other nations cannot sin because the law wasn't given to them and the service of god so if if you are israelite you are the only one you are the only ones that can serve the lord right the ones who fit the curses over deuteronomy 28 you are the only ones who can service the lord and the promises right so the promises was given to abraham isaac and jacob and you have to understand that he's only been dealing with the nation of Israel all this time. Wake up, man, and realize you are chosen, Yasharala. And you other nations, this ain't for you. You have no business trying to build a temple unto our Lord. Let us do our own work, man, right? And I want to end it by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Yahweh Yom. I'm going to give double honors once again to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone for teaching me sound doctrine. Strong shalom warm to you men and women out there once again doing this work diligently and cheaply keeping the faith, making your calling your election sure. Shalom warm, Yashua. On to the next video.